हेलो एवरीवन सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक कैंसर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर दैट इज द टॉपिक सर्विक्स कैंसर सर्वाइकल कैंसर व्हिच इज वेरी मच प्रोमिनेंट और प्रिवेलेंट इन फीमेल्स all over the world and now a days a proper breast cancer day or cancer day cervix seminars cervix cancer seminars are being held all over the country to educate the women regarding the cervix cancer breast cancer so let's begin our discussion first of all it is generally of two types first is pre invasive cancer which is only limited to the cervix area first point is it is of pre invasive nature pre invasive nature limited to only our cervix part in the female second is obvious invasive which can affect the pelvic organs pelvic bones and can transfer via lymph nodes to different body parts via lymph nodes to different body parts and associated structures through the lymphatic system and when we talk about the carcinoma in the situ or its benign nature the cervix is generally present in the cervix itself and what are the various sign and symptoms associated with cancer of the cervix include first one is that is unusual bleeding that i had told in the uh, cancer series lecture first lecture that the word caution unusual bleeding from the vagina second is dyspareunia dyspareunia pain pareunia pain during sexual intercourse can be present pelvic pain can be present in the female pelvic pain can be present and low back pain low back pain anorexia can be there you know females when get irritated they normally avoid food uh, uh, just uh, due to their mood changes Lo uh, lower leg pains lower leg pains can be there lower pain in lower legs lower leg pain and pain in their low back pain uh, abdomen can also be in the epigastric uh, area in the umbilical area can also be felt abna uh, in case of cancer of cervix clear sign and symptoms when we talk about the risk factors they should be discussed clearly about risk factors first one is clear cut risk factor that is hpv that means human papilloma human papilloma virus papilloma virus hpv and especially that also hpv type 16 which causes 80% cases of the cervix cancer human human papilloma papilloma virus hpv is accountable for 80% of the cervix cancer or its infections papilloma virus hvv and fortunately vaccine is nowadays available for it so note this point that vaccine is available for this point other risk factors include multiple pregnancies multiple pregnancies and un we can say unprotected multiple sex partners having sex with unprotected uh, multiple sex partners and partners and then taking oral contraceptive pills oral contraceptive pills at early stage of life oral contraceptive pills at early stage of life also comes here our uh, birth control pills and the smoking which is nowadays considered to be being a modern woman but every woman every female should know about the extreme side effect of alcoholism and the smoking there is no uh, we can say uh, uh, advantage in discussion about the seminars in terms of seminar 
seminars in terms of we can say days cancer day breast cancer day service cancer day if we are not going to adopt vaccination not going to avoid our smoking bad habit of smoking and alcoholism so all these factors lead to the, uh, the cervix cancer uh, in in the females and these can be screened yes they can be well uh, in time can be screened for the presence of cervix cancer and the test include pap smear test pap smear test is a gold standard test for early detection pap smear test is early detection test screening test for early detection of cervix cancer in the females pap smear test you should also know that uh, cancer of cervix is also the fourth most common type of cancer in the female fourth most common type of cancer in the female kindly tell me in the comment section about the three other most common uh, we can say type of cancer prevalent in the females now we will discuss about our another diagnostic evaluation test or the stages in the stage 1 first of all staging let's discuss about staging in the stage 1 staging the we can say uh, cancer cells are limited to the cervix area only cancer 1 type 2 limited carcinoma in situ limited to the location only in stage 2 it usually spread or completely engulf the vaginal opening and internal external os it generally covers all in the stage 3 and 4 obvious fourth is metastasis which generally affect the abdominal organs pelvic organs above and the cancer size increases from 3 mm to 5 mm 3 mm to 5 mm in the staging part clear everybody clear pap smear test clear about the risk factors then sign and symptoms and this can also be prevented by use of vaccination using of female condoms during the sexual intercourse having sec good sexual life good personal hygiene during menstrual cycle and good healthy diet rich of fruits and vegetables and also avoiding stress that uh, can greatly prevent the we can say pelvic or cervix cancer so there can be another sign and symptoms like foul smell from the vaginal discharge foul smell how can we forget foul smell from the uh, vaginal discharge or leucorrhea can be there leakage dysuria painful micturition hematuria can be there and other uh, changes can also be present also be present so this is also checked by we can say staging is a pap smear test and colposcopy and colposcopy uh, we can say visual, visualizing the uh, cervix part visualization of cervix part by direct observation opening of the vagina by using some instruments colposcopy is the visualization of the cervix part to assess any presence of lesions over here in the external os in the vaginal opening so colposcopy scopy means visualization so in the last we discuss about the intervention so intervention obvious generally include intervention what will come under intervention uh, first is chemotherapy agents so chemotherapy generally comes uh, covers cisplatin drug carboplatin second is laser therapy or beam therapy under the teletherapy laser therapy so many topics i had covered for you in the cancer series or cancer play uh, playlist so energy beam is focused over the cervix cancer and cells are damaged by the that is uh, beam and another intervention is conization 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 is making a cone shape cone shape cutting here cone shape removal of some part for example this is the red part we had taken cone shape from the cervix 
this part was highly affected so it was taken out highly affected and all these cells were removed so this part was affected and generally removed from the uh, cervix part um, and by this process colonization the reproductive health of the female is maintained and also there is option for cryosurgery cryosurgery is just freezing the affected part cryosurgery freezing the affected part by the use of some super cool liquid like liquid nitrogen colonization hysterectomy can also be done if the uh, we can say severity of the cancer is of fourth grade and metastasis is severe hysterectomy complete removal of the uterus is the last option my dear students that covers this part so all this was about the we can say topic cervix cancer in which we discussed about the that is uh, its types sign and symptoms risk factors then diagnostic test or we can say yes diagnostic test colposcopy and pap smear test so it's uh, we can say frequency also depend upon the uh, we can say hospital protocols country to country in some countries it is preferred that uh, pap smear test is not required under the age of 21 years but some countries prefer it and some countries prefer that after the age of 21 years there should be at least three pap smear in one year in uh, three pap smear in one year and after the age of more than 30 it is preferred to have three to five pap smears in one year it depends upon hospital protocols diet general prevalence of the disease and how much the health system is effective so in this video i had discussed about the various aspects related to the we can say uh, cervix cancer in the next part we will discuss about some another cancer video so stay with us thank you for watching this video